Montoya arriving at our house in my brother's Mercury, brand new Mercury, and there I am getting out of the car, near Carlos Montoya sitting at the house, and my brother Henry, my sister Sorida, and me, and uh, who else is there? Alby, my other brother, and my mom. She had cooked a wonderful dinner for him, and we would all have a wonderful time eating and talking, and he would tell us about his tour in the United States, and uh, then he wanted me to play the guitar for him because he wanted to know what I've learned and if I've been improving. And so I'd play the guitar for him, and then uh, uh, he would play the guitar for us, and uh, we would all be mesmerized by his playing because he was very fast and very accurate. And after he would play the guitar, we would have coffee and maybe a liqueur or something, and then we would drive him to the theater where he would do his concerts. And uh, then he would go on to the next city, you know, he would do like all the major cities in the United States, and he was considered as the, one of the top guitarists in the country at that time. And uh, he was uh, performing all the time, and there's my sister Soraya, and me and we're all doing the clapping. There's my sister Sarah dancing, and there she's dancing to Bulerias and having a good time because uh, we wanted to all do a good job for Carlos Montoya. Now, this is a rehearsal that my brother Henry's sitting on the left, and me and my sister Zoraida and my sister Fatima, and uh, we're rehearsing for uh, a show that we were going to do at the Wushri Bell, I believe. Uh, and she's dancing here. Seems to me like she's dancing uh, uh, bulerias. And uh, we're playing the guitar, and we would rehearse in our living room, because we had a huge house. Since there was 11 children in the family, uh, we had a big house. And uh, we would just pull the rug back, and the girls would dance on the wooden floors, and they were wonderful floors. Uh, and they're dancing here uh, and rehearsing. And uh, they're doing their gypsy steps. And this is Carmen Amaya's nephew, Curro, and that's Sabikas, the famous guitarist who's dancing at a party. Another one of our parties at home, and my brother Henry playing the guitar. And uh, that's Sabikas dancing with a cigarette in his hand. And that's me, I was real shy in those days, so they wanted me to dance, and I didn't want to dance, but they forced me to come out and do some few steps. And, <laughs> and there's Savikas playing the guitar. And he kept asking me, are, we, are they recording this? Are they recording this? Does it have any sound? <laughs> And that's Carmen Amaya doing hand clapping and having a good time while sitting at the dinner table. And she's clapping for Bulerias. She was an incredible artist. She made a million dollars in one year in 1943 and also did a command performance for President Roosevelt at the White House. That's Henry, my brother Henry, Enrique, and we're practicing here again uh, for another show. And uh, we were doing duets, and I'm playing uh, some scale variations, and, and he's doing the rhythm for me. And then my sisters are doing the hand clapping. And that's Fatima on the right, my sister Carmen in the middle, and Soraya on the left, and she's singing. This was the rehearsal that we were doing at the house. And we would practice all the time these variations so that we were sure that we were together. And that's my sister Fatima singing. That's my sister Carmen dancing, Bulerias. And 
and I think she was like 14 years old there. All right, this is Manuel Sanguesa. He was from northern Spain, and he was a Jesuit priest. And then he became a uh, classical guitar teacher, and he was teaching us a classical piece to my brother Henry, who's sitting there on the left, and me. Uh, and we're both trying to figure out uh, what all the music was about, because we didn't know how to read music very well. And he was teaching us how to read music and how to play classical uh, pieces. And uh, he was a real smart guy. He was a very nice person and a friend of the family. And there's Henry trying to figure out how this piece works. I think it was uh, a piece called Lagrimas by Francisco Tarrega, who was a famous Spanish composer and guitarist who was considered to be the Chopin of the guitar. And he's uh, showing us the pieces. Now he's playing here the piece to show us what, how it sounds. Now this is Jose Greco's family, and this is Charo, part of Jose Greco's company, and they were having dinner at the house, and this is Gitanio Bronce from Madrid, and that was Carlos Ramos, the famous guitarist, and that's my nephew, Carmelo, and these are the dancers that were with Jose Greco's company, and that's Gracia de Sacramonte, and that's uh, one of the dancers in the company. They were all clowning around and having a good time, uh, we were all uh, like family, and they were so happy to have some Spanish food. Uh, my mother was a wonderful cook, so they would have all these nice soups and potages, and we'd have uh, all kinds of Spanish dishes, of course. And everyone was having a wonderful time, and that's my mom on the right, and that's Charo, she used to dance the tangos. And there's Gracia de Sacramonte, and her husband is the nephew of Jose Greco. And uh, there's Miguel Garcia, the little gu the guitarist with Carlos Ramos, they were the two guitarists of the company. And another guitarist from Granada, an older man, Mr. Hidalgo, I remember his name. And these are all the dancers that were in the Jose Greco company, all ha having a good time with my sister Sarah. And now they're dancing. And everyone's clapping and having a good time. And there's Soraida. There's another dancer, she's from Sevilla, a really nice lady. And there's another dancer, he teaches in Sevilla now. He doesn't perform anymore, but that was back in the old, in the 50s when he was a, a dancer in the company. And that's uh, one of Draco's guitarists, and they got him up to dance, Miguel Garcia, he's from Sevilla. And uh, he was Greco's guitarist for like 15 years. And everyone's having a wonderful time cutting up and doing the clapping and the singing and the dancing. Everyone would get up and do a little step. You know. And then here's this character over here, pretending he's a woman. He was a very good dancer, by the way. I think her name was Isabel, and he was Mr. Hidalgo. He was a very serious man. He was from Granada, from the Gypsy Caves, and he was one of the guitarists. And this is another one of the dancers in Draco's company. I think her name was Pepita, which is Pepe, which is uh, Josephine. So everyone's having a wonderful time and drinking and eating and, 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 and dancing and doing hand clapping. And 
this party in the flamenco gypsy way.